Hello friends, Donnie Carr here with another In the Studio, episode 95. So, unfortunately, I don't always have time to sit down and make music for four or five or six hours, and I'm sure you don't either. So I think it's very important to make use of the time that you do have. Maybe you only have 20 or 30 minutes. You could spend that time making little effect hits, little risers and sweeps. You can organize your samples. You can make little percussive loops, maybe some uh, make some little melodic ideas and riffs, add those to your sample library. Maybe there's some plugins that you don't know so well that you own. Learn those, watch some tutorials, um, read a production book for a minute. Um, there's lots of good ones. Uh, maybe you can back up your files. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do to really prep yourself for when you do have that precious, you know, time to sit down and really concentrate on music for a few hours that, you know, you can call upon these things that, you are, that you've already made and you'll have these like little secret weapons um, that you can just grab that you've already spent time on. Um, so that's what we're going to do here today. I'm going to make a effects sweep riser sound. Um, with white noise that I can put into my sample library and maybe use in a future track. And I thought that I would invite you along the way and show you how I would how I would do it. So here we go. Um, I'm going to use a simple white noise oscillator from 3XOC and then I'm going to use the Fruity Delay 3 tape delay to create a little effect sound, a little effect riser. So here we go. Um, let's get right to it here. I'm going to pull up 3x OSC. Boom. I'm going to turn the second two oscillators all the way down and turn the first one to the noise. I'm going to put this in the mixer on channel 30. And I'm going to throw an EQ on this just to tame the frequencies. It's kind of harsh right out of the get. I'm going to pull back on some of these top frequencies. Right, and, and then I'm just going to put down a simple quarter note there. And I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Now I want this to be a 16 bar effect riser here. You know what? And we'll we'll Make it the clip a little bit longer because I want it to bleed over a little bit. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Here we, here we go. Okay. So let's highlight that section there. And then I'm going to put on the 3XOC channel, I'm going to put on the Fruity Delay 3 and I'm going to automate the delay time. And I want to, I, I, I took it off tempo sync because I'm going to pull back on the timing to create a nice kind of rolling riser effect, but I want the initial time to be around one quarter note. Um, at a 123 BPM. So that is roughly, because I've looked it up, is around 487 milliseconds. If I can get it. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to create an automation clip And I showed you in the last video how to calculate delay times if you're wondering how to do so. I'll put it up in the card, but it's in the last video. So you get, it's useful for things like this. So I'm going to copy that. Paste that there. And then we also want to, oops, we also want to automate a couple more things. So I'm going to automate the feedback level. 
here. I'm going to automate the cutoff as well, I think, of the feedback signal. I'm going to bring that up. And we'll start with just those. That should be good to get us going. Okay, so I'm also going to detach this, which is going to make it stay in place and not disappear when I click on something else. And then I just have this basic kick and snare pattern just to see what, what it will maybe sound like going into a, a beat, so just so I have something to reference there. Okay, so I want to push this white noise into self-oscillation. And that, that happens when this turns orange and red. So let's, let's do that first. Oh, that's a cutoff. Oopsie. So we'll pull that down. So we want to mess with this here. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit of fiddling just to get it just to get it right, but I also want to introduce some delay here, so or excuse me, some uh, reverb. So I'm going to use just the Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'm gonna pull that uh, the K up a little bit, and we'll I'll just automate the mix. Okay, and then I might add a little bit of side chain. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, um, maybe we can try and add a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit more character to that white noise. And maybe you throw on some like chorus or flange or phaser. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this here from Native Instruments. This Phases plugin. We'll go for one of these.
Nice. I'm going to pull that timing up a little bit more, though. And I'm also going to automate this. So I'm just going to automate the... Uh, Feedback, maybe. Yeah, and automate the feedback. Stop that. Automate the feedback, and I'll automate the mix. And maybe even the rate. Let's parameters, let's automate the rate, come down, and I'll probably pull up the mix as well. Okay. Okay, let's have a listen here. down a little bit on the reverb here. Yeah, I think I think that would work there. It's a nice little white noise riser, little effect sweep that you could tuck low in the mix and could help it, you know, bring a little life to a, a part in your track in the future. So I'm going to end the video here and maybe tweak these here, there's just a touch and then bounce it out and put it into my sample library. So hope you hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a comment or question and I will see you very soon. Take care.